Hi, this is Eddie, and I'm going to give a short demonstration on how to use the blit command for the HP Prime graphing calculator. This is the help screen of the pixel version of the blit command. Drawing commands have two versions, the Cartesian version and the pixel version. The pixel versions, the commands end with an underscore P. The full syntax of blit and blit underscore p is the target graphic object, the dimensions, source graphic objects and the dimensions, and then this c argument. What do we mean by target and source? Let's take an example. Say I want to make a copy of this circle and replace this triangle with that circle. So for this example, the circle is going to be the source and the triangle is going to be the target. What the BLIT command does is copy this circle and accomplishes the task and replacing the triangle with that circle. So at the end, we have two circles, two areas that look exactly like the source. In our program, BLIT, D-E-M-O, blit demo, I'm going to use a simplified version of the blit command. We can use this simplified version because I'm going to use the same graphic objects and I'm not going to ask blit to do anything regarding filtering of color. So I'm going to have eight arguments to work with. The first four deals with the coordinate boundaries of the target. The other four is going to deal with the boundaries of the source box. The concept is going to be the same. Now let's look at the program. In our program, BLIT, D-E-M-O, blit demo, I'm going to use a simplified version of the blit command. We can use this simplified version because I'm going to use the same graphic objects and I'm not going to ask blit to do anything regarding filtering of color. So I'm going to have eight arguments to work with. The first four deals with the coordinate boundaries of the target. The other four is going to deal with the boundaries of the source box. The concept is going to be the same. Now let's look at the program. This is the Blit demo program. If you want to type along, please pause the video. Here, what I'm going to do is start the program by clearing the screen using the rectangular command with no arguments at all. Then I'm going to draw four squares. The first three are going to be black. The last one is going to be blue, and that's going to be the right bottom square. I'm going to finish this set by inserting a wait command with negative one as an argument. This puts the calculator into an indefinite wait period and it's going to wait for the user to either press a key on the keyboard or touch the screen. This is where the blit commands are going to come in. Again, if you want to type this, please pause the video. The blit, the first blit command is going to copy the lower right square and paste it to the upper left hand square. In other words, it's going to turn the upper left square blue. And I've also inserted a wait command with the negative one as an argument to put the calculator in de indefinite wait again. This last blit command is I'm going to take the entire left side and copy it on to the right side. The general syntax of the blit command is this. Take the coordinates on the last four arguments, copy everything in between these coordinates, and replace the area defined by the first four coordinates with that information. So copy, paste. Now let's see this program in action. I'm going to run it the blit demo. 
at the beginning you're going to see the three block squares and the blue square on the lower right. I'm going to hit enter to activate the force split command and notice that the upper left hand square which was previously black has now turned blue. Now I'm going to press enter again and I'm going to make the left side, these two squares right here, make a copy and replace the two squares on the right. And that is the second blit command. So that's a short demonstration of the blit command for the HP Prime.